Although the breed is only one factor in determining a dog's aggressiveness, it is an important one that must not be overlooked. Dogs with behavioural issues are dangerous around youngsters, other animals and anyone who lacks experience with animal care. And although you cannot know for sure what ticks these dogs off, you can still know a lot by their breed as to what you can expect. For this reason, today we have shortlisted the 10 most dangerous dog breeds out there that you should be careful from. Let's begin. Number 10. Doberman Pinscher The Doberman Pinscher is instantly recognisable thanks to its distinctive profile, which is characterised by cropped ears, a straight back, and an expression of perpetual vigilance. Aside from German Shepherds, these canines have been put to work as guard dogs, and they did such a good job at it that the name of the breed has virtually become associated with the activity. That said, the word Pinscher originates from a German phrase that describes the behaviour of these dogs, which is to pursue and bite their prey. Another breed that has been bred for many generations to produce the most effective fighting dogs possible. Not to forget that the fact that they pose a significant threat shouldn't come as much of a shock. At the date of the research, Dobermans were involved in a significant number of biting events as well as around six fatalities. Thus, this breed is hazardous and is capable of inflicting significant injuries, despite the fact that it has not been responsible for as many fatalities as other types of dogs. As for their physical stature, they weigh more than 80 pounds each and have a height that ranges between 2 and 3 feet. Number 9. Labrador Retriever the Labrador Retriever is a breed of dog that was developed specifically for the purpose of assisting humans in hunting and other outdoor activities. They can weigh up to 80 pounds and stand only around 2 feet tall, although they are considered to be fairly large dogs. Labradors are highly valued for their ability to get along well with children and other pets, but due to their dependable temperament, they don't make good security dogs. But then how did it come to pass that Labradors were to blame for 2.1% of the total number of fatalities recorded in a study? Well, the majority of the time, people believe that the Labrador is trying to protect either its territory or its food supply. When humans are trying to modify the behaviour of their dogs, they may accidentally put their dog in a position where it feels threatened or backed into a corner. In either case, Labradors are not particularly aggressive creatures, yet they are capable of knocking people over and severely biting them. Number 8. Alaskan Malamute The Alaskan Malamute is a breed of dog that is extremely similar to the Siberian Husky. The biggest difference between the two, however, is that the wolf-like counterparts of the Siberian Husky are significantly larger than the Alaskan Malamute. Because they may weigh up to approximately 90 pounds and stand up to 26 inches tall, these dogs are both fairly enormous and quite powerful. They also have a tremendous amount of physical energy, and they enjoy running around and getting into mischief as often as possible. Unfortunately, these dogs do not have a reputation for being submissive to their master's orders, which means that they require rigorous training beginning at an early age in order to behave properly. Even though they have only been linked to four human fatalities, Alaskan Malamutes are nevertheless considered to be among the most dangerous canines in the world, due to the strength of their bite and their propensity to use it aggressively. Number 7. Siberian Huskies The wolf-like appearance of the Siberian Husky makes them a popular pet, and quite a dangerous one. It's not surprising that canines that appear like wild animals might act similarly to them. In the northernmost parts of the United States and Canada, huskies were bred specifically for their use as sled dogs. They may only weigh 60 pounds, but these little animals pack a big punch. On the other hand, this breed of dog gets a lot of energy from the thrill of a successful hunt, suggesting all smaller animals, including people, can easily appear to be prey to them. Not to mention, survival instincts are what led them to the greatest problems in this situation. According to a study that was conducted earlier, huskies were involved in 3% of all fatal attacks, despite their generally amiable nature. These creatures have been known to attack people of any age who challenge them. Number 6. Boxer Boxers are fascinating canines since they look quite goofy, but were actually developed to work. These dogs are very active and can reach a weight of up to 80 pounds of pure muscle. Yet it's easy to see why boxers may be so bothersome when you consider their physical abilities and protective instincts. In the presence of the owner, the dog may attack if it perceives an intruder to be posing a threat. Although boxers have only been responsible for seven fatalities in recent years, they are also prone to non-fatal bites. If you don't know how to properly care for and train a dog, then this is not the breed for you. Number 5. American Bulldog 
In comparison to their counterparts in Britain, American Bulldogs are still powerful working animals that have not been overbred to the point where they are no longer useful. These canines can pack on muscle and reach weights of more than 100 pounds, and that is definitely not an exaggeration. They are large, powerful dogs that pose a significant threat when they go on an attack. Not to forget, but American Bulldogs were responsible for 15 fatalities during the course of the study's 13-year duration, which corresponds to around 3.5% of all fatal attacks. Despite the fact that this is not a particularly high figure, it is important when one takes into account the fact that this breed of dog is seldom discussed in the same breath as other potentially deadly canines. It's also important to note that in addition to having a strong bite, this breed has the potential to jump high enough and land with enough force to put an adult on its back. Number 4. German Shepherd In recent decades, German Shepherds have become increasingly popular as service dogs in the police and military. The selection is rationalized by the fact that these canines are strong, smart, powerful and dangerous and are capable of inflicting fatal assaults on humans. German Shepherds, who typically weigh in at over 90 pounds and stand at over 2 feet tall, are the ideal breed for deterring human dangers, as these working dogs have been selectively bred over many generations to become an efficient tool. However, there have been 20 fatalities and countless non-fatal bite incidences attributed to German Shepherds, making them one of the most dangerous dog breeds. Yet the one bright spot is that this breed is quite amenable to training. Number 3. Bull Mastiff Bull Mastiffs are highly regarded as pets because they are loyal, watchful and courageous. And even though they will watch over your house and yard, they may not be friendly to strangers and will need early socialization to prevent assaults. While assaults by Bull Mastiffs are rare, the great size of these dogs means that when they do strike, they can cause significant injury. At least 27 inches in height and up to 130 pounds, they are rather large. The dog's hazardous reputation, however, becomes clearer when one considers the animal's extreme rarity in the United States. Number 2. Pitbull The Pitbull is the most hazardous breed, which is probably not news to anyone who has researched this topic. The term Pitbull is used to refer to a variety of dog breeds other than the Bulldog or Terrier, which are the only two for whom the American Kennel Club has official recognition. For example, the earlier study found that pit bulls were responsible for 284 deaths during a 13-year period, or about two-thirds of all fatal dog attacks in the United States. Not to forget, pit bulls can weigh up to 80 pounds, have powerful jaws and exceptional aggression, all of which contribute to its reputation as the most deadly canine breed. Number 1. Rottweiler Rottweilers were the most dangerous dog breed until pit bulls gained notoriety where these healthy dogs can reach 25 inches tall and 120 pounds. And of course, they're big and sometimes nasty. Specifically, the dog will become highly friendly and protective of its family, but not visitors. Rottweilers are strong, loyal and lethal when they attack intruders. And well, let's not forget that Rottweilers use their formidable bite to great effect. And while this is all for today's video, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below while hitting the bell icon so that you can catch us soon.